It is time to do another video. I haven't done one in a while, and I bought this thing a while ago, and I have not even looked at it yet. So might as well look at it today. It is a fixed thing. It's a fixed sensor. Basically, it'll plug into your car and tell you what the codes are so you can read what the issues are with your poor car if it has issues. So let's unbox it. And that's it. It comes with this thing. It's, as you can see, it can plug into your car's computer. And it comes with instructions. There aren't that many, so that would make you think that it's easy to use. Step one, it says to download the app, which is called Fix D App on my smartphone. So let's do that. Wow, that happened in a flash. It didn't take one minute at all. Open up, let's see what we have most accurate description of what is wrong with your car, but the contents are for informational purposes only. So do not go driving your car based on this information if it has tons of smoke coming out the back. I do sort of understand. Okay, I'm going to make an account. This is getting annoying, but let's do it. Personally, I don't really feel like making an account to be able to check my car's code, but let's just continue this. How do you take care of your car? Mechanic. I do not fix this car because it's a new car in warranty. I purchased the fix sensor. There's a sticker attached to my sensor. Clearly there it is. Looks like the next step is to plug this device into the OBD port of my car. So let's go down to the car. The car, fortunately on this car, the OBD port is on the driver's side and it's pretty easy to find. So I'll take you in there, we'll plug it in, turn on the app and see what happens. So here we are at the driver's side. I'll go ahead and open the OBD port. You can clearly see it is right there and extremely accessible in this car, fortunately. That's a trapezoid shape. And this is also the same, so I'll just match it up, stick it in there. Very easy. Anyone could do that. Next step, turn on car. So I live in Key West and this heat is killing me, so I have no issue turning on the freaking car. For the instructions. Turn vehicle on, leave engine running for five seconds before opening the fixed app. Alright, so you saw me do step number six. That's where you plug in the sensor into the OBD panel down there. Now it's been five seconds since I started the car. I'm gonna say, hey, it's plugged in. Allow fix to access this device's location. Do I have a choice? So when it finds it, here it is. It's, it shows it. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And now I get to name my car. I actually call my car the Batmobile. That's what I like to call it. So now the Batmobile is in so now so now the Batmobile is installed. This is what it shows. Schedule service. Buy parts. Check recalls. Indicator library. So I'm assuming the first step is to tap the wrenches to scan the vehicle. Here we go. It's green. What does that mean? No errors detected. Save for my um, fuel gauge on, saying I need to get some fuel. Seems like my car is in good condition. It damn well better be. It's a new car. That zero issues found. But if I had a check engine light, which I did about a month ago, that's probably when I should have tested this thing, isn't it? It is sort of convenient that it looks like it has a timeline so it can like tell you when you should get certain services done. And then there's another option I clicked on down here. It's I can't read the whole thing that it says, but it says wear it. And it brings me to this. It looks like it might do some other tests. I don't know. We'll click on one of them. So basically that part of it lets you log when you do these different things that you're supposed to do, like change tires, battery, and wipers, which I have not done yet. But they're still working pretty good. Tires probably time, though. Live data. The future of driving is here. Navigation. Fighter jet. See information like a pilot would in the cockpit. Boy, that's exciting. Live data. See real-time analytics about your car right in your line of sight. And for track use only, measure how quickly you can get from 0 to 60. But it, it sort of like makes me think like this, this car, doesn't this car like show all this stuff anyways? Connecting to gauges. I have the gauges right in front of me. Does this show me something my gauges don't? I have my PSI, PSI. Okay, so it looks like I can choose gauges. 
Tap screen and use configure menu to add. Configure menu. Add. I want this gauge to tell me intake manifold absolute pressure. Thank you. The second one, how about throttle position? I don't do any advanced stuff with the car, so. Fuel take level input. Ambient air temperature. Unit FC, I have no idea. Back. All right. So I'm in neutral, standing still. What is my intake manifold absolute pressure? Cool. Throttle position. 25%. Ambient air temperature, 74. Probably inside the car, I'm not sure. And my fuel tank is at 25%. That's probably the only gauge I will use. But nonetheless, I do think this is cool. Thank you, Fixed. Um, let's look at other features. Navigation. Um, I think I already have a navigation app. I don't really feel like installing that. Trip mode. So it lets me see how fast I'm going. And my altitude. Altitude's cool, but there's not for that. And my speed. The car doesn't tell me my altitude, at least. F22 mode. Supposedly this will tell me... This must be a 0 to 60 time in G meter, I guess. I don't know. But, cool. That's what it is. Here you go. So that is the fixed app. I think it's pretty interesting. Do I feel like keeping it plugged in there? Doesn't matter. No. Um, only if I feel like tuning the car and putting in that, and only if I feel like tuning, only if I feel like tuning the car and putting that big turbo I've always wanted, getting the exhaust, new intake, and hopefully end up with a 500 horsepower Ford Focus. Um, I'm not ready to use this yet, but when I have another check engine light, definitely will be useful to do that. You can spin your cogs all day long. Alright, well thanks for joining me on this video, and happy spinning cogs.